Hi there, my name's Andy and I work for the Pace Trust that does schools work in Paul, Bournemouth and Christchurch and we do RE lessons, lunchtime clubs and assemblies like this one you're going to see today. I was wondering about being a superhero. I've always fancied being a superhero and I wonder what I'd need. Let me think. I think I need, first of all, a cool costume. Yeah, I don't know, what do you think? I know. So I've got a cool costume, I need a cool name. How about Professor Cool Sophisticated Pants? What do you reckon? I think that sounds good. Professor Cool Sophisticated Pants. Or oh, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, that, maybe that could be the one. Yeah, so Captain Crunch, my cool costume. I know what I need. I need a really cool car. But you know what? That doesn't actually make me a superhero. It makes me a bloke in a costume with a silly name and a bit of back projection. Actually, what makes you a superhero is actually what's on the inside. So maybe I'll have to turn back to me. <laughs> yeah, sadly, it's not, oh dear. Yeah, sadly, I can't always be a superhero just by what I look like. But people ask, how, what makes you a Christian? And they sometimes think you're made a Christian by being British or English, by not having done anything terribly wrong, like not murdering anybody. Or maybe because you go to church occasionally, or you maybe got baptised as a baby. But you know what? It's a bit like this. Okay, I'm just, actually I'll give it more of a, more of a shake, there you go. This may look like a Coke can, but actually it hasn't got anything in, it's just an empty can. Without the Coke, a Coke can isn't a Coke can, it's just a can. A Christian isn't about what you do on the outside, it's about your inward choice to say yes to Jesus, to following Jesus, and your yes to God, to asking him to help you by being filled with his Holy Spirit. So being Christian is a choice we've made to follow Jesus and asking God to help us by filling us with his Holy Spirit to enable us to live our lives his way. It's a little bit like this, our ordinary lives, and we ask God to help us. And he does what we can't do, that amazing miracle. We have our ordinary, everyday lives. And Jesus says that he stands at the door and he knocks. He waits for us to say, come on in. He doesn't impose himself, but he waits for us to invite him in. It's a choice about whether or not we ask God to come. And we, and we ask him in and God comes into our life and fills us. Fills us, it says in the Bible, to overflowing. The Bible actually says, go on be being filled. The idea is that we always need more of God. So an ongoing question of God, give me more of you. Fill me afresh with your Holy, Holy Spirit. We, because we can't do our life God's way in our own strength. Now this first happened on the day of Pentecost, which is actually the day the church has as its birthday. It started off with the disciples, and they also had Mary in the upper room, and they'd also elected another guy called Matthias to, to take the place of Judas, one of the ones who'd, who'd gone astray. Anyway, they were there and they were praying, and suddenly there was a noise like a rushing wind filled the room. And then there was something that looked like tongues of fire that appeared on their heads. And they were like amazed and they ran from the room and they went into the town centre, into the city centre in Jerusalem. And they were started talking about Jesus, telling the story of Jesus who lived, was crucified, died and rose again. The Jesus who died for our sins so that we could be forgiven and have a fresh start. They started telling that story to the people that were in the city. But the amazing thing was there were people in that city from all over the world. And yet each one of them heard it in their own language. And Peter, one of the disciples, stood up and explained to everybody the story about Jesus. And that's the day the church was born. People realised the story of Jesus. They realised that they could follow Jesus 
and ask him to fill them with, their Holy, with his Holy Spirit so they could live their lives his way. And although that happened 2,000 years ago, I believe the same thing can happen now, that all of us struggle with life sometimes. All of us find it hard and difficult. All of us sometimes need to say to God, God, can you help me? God, can you help me? Can you fill me with your Holy Spirit? Help me to live my life your way. Should we just close with a, with a prayer? Dear God, thank you for the church's birthday. Thank you for that amazing gift you give us of yourself, your Holy Spirit. Sometimes when we get stuck, help us to be brave enough to ask you to come and fill us. Thank you that you want to fill us to overflowing. Thank you that you're generous. Thank you that you give us yourself generously whenever we ask. Thank you you stand at the door and knock and don't barge your way in. Thank you that you are loving God. Amen.